I just think in general, I just think my 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 um baseline thesis is this. I just think in general, Brendan's one of those type of personalities, and I've I've, I've met a few of them because again, I I think I've had, I think when I was growing up, I was really kind of. I had a little bit of like entitlement in me as well. I had a little bit of like, like I was one of those guys in school or in college and shit who was always told they were special, right? I was always kind of told, oh, you're going to do great things. You're going to do great things. And <laughs> I started to believe it. <laughs> I was like to gas myself up because I was like, you know, I was kind of smart and shit. I got good grades. And what that does to your brain because i've i've been there that's what i'm saying i've I've spoken from a point i've been there it fucks with your brain because you start to think you deserve things and you start to have this really toxic sense of entitlement then when i left college and i graduated from union shit i went to a really good one i went i did i did all this kind of crazy shit right i'm winning all these awards and then suddenly your career isn't matching all this academic thing that you were kind of given right so people were sucking you off academically right and then you go into the real world and i couldn't get a fucking bartending job i'm like hold on but i'm i was special <laughs> i got design awards in school look 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 i got patterns in my name and shit nah i couldn't even get a bartending job and i was like whoa real humbler and then you meet people who are like, you know, who maybe aren't as good as you at your particular thing that you want to do. Let's say it's art. And then they're succeeding and they're doing really well in their careers. And then you almost feel as if like that should be yours. Like, I deserve that. It's mine. I'm the special one. So I think there's a part of Brendan that's always felt like he was destined for greatness or something. And then when you met Brogan and Rogan put that battery in his back, and then he got everything he wanted in life because, you know, I think he's one of those type of dudes who always wanted a big house, always wanted a wife that looks like his wife, always wanted cars in his garage, you know, always wanted a bunch of kids, you yeah? know, always wanted to wear this stuff, whatever he's wearing, you know, he's had these kind of like tick, he tick, he's had these, these things he wanted to tick off. Now he's got them. You can't tell him shit. Someone like that, you can't tell them shit because they, he always felt he deserved this lifestyle. He got it by chance. You know, it's just a luck thing, really. Um, for the most part, especially the meeting of Rogan. And now that he's got it, you can't tell him shit. And I've seen these people before. I've met them before. And there's, and there's nothing worse than having that type of attitude. Because again, I've, I had a little bit of it. And I was lucky because I had it ac academically. And, and I kind of got rid of it very quickly when I went into the real world and I was making like six pound an hour, right? When you start winning awards in school for like design and then suddenly you're, you're making six pound an hour. <laughs> it reminds you where your actual value is, you know? And then you have to kind of work your way up. <laughs> so that was fine. So I was lucky I kind of was able to shed away all that toxic traits early. It did. I didn't let that get into my late 20s. But when you do, when you're like him, it's hard. It's, it's almost impossible to change it, especially him. He's a grown up, bro. He's like 40 something years old with three children and a wife. Like, come on, it's not happening. It's not happening. It just is what it is. Uh, what are you guys saying here? 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 Yeah, exactly. Asad, you know what? I swear to God, Asad. Exactly, Asad. Never believe in yourself. That's the number one. Exactly. Fuck exactly. You're not that special. And then when I left school, guess what? When I went online, I started using social media, I found out that there's a ton of people all over the world who were told they were special just like I was. I thought I was the only one that was special. And I get on social media and I see a ton of, what do you call them? I see a ton of frustrated artists. I see a ton of starving artists who all felt that they were special and they all told they were special. And I was like, oh, I wasn't even that special. They, she, she told everybody that. <laughs> Honestly, man, I swear to God. <laughs> oh. Exactly, 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 exactly. There you go, Snake. That's a good humbler too. I was a top grade entitled little fool myself. I ended up in prison. <laughs> exactly. Life doesn't matter if it's prison. Doesn't matter if it's not. It's not getting able to get a job. Doesn't matter. It, it doesn't. It, it doesn't matter if it's living at home. Doesn't matter if it's asking money from your fucking friends and shit. Life will always humble you. It really will always remind you. Hey, hey, hey. Settle down. <laughs> life will always do that to you i fucking love it it'll always fucking humble you oh anyway let's move on 